And now it is a pleasure for me to turn the microphone to my good friend, the president of Showtime Sports, Steven Espinosa. Thanks, Richard. Uh, it's no secret it's been a great year for boxing. And as we come to the end of the year, uh, you know, it's sort of human nature. There's a lot of people rushing to take credit for it. You know, all this talk of, of repositioning the sport, uh, repositioning, whatever that means. Boxing doesn't need repositioning. Uh, and if it did, it wouldn't go to the same people who were responsible for positioning it in the first place. You know, boxing <laughs> doesn't need repositioning. What it needs is good fights, good, high quality, competitive fights. Fights like Santa Cruz Frampton and Thurman and Danny Garcia or Spence and Brooke. Not fight cards where the B side on the televised card doesn't win a single round all night. That's not repositioning the sport. The only way to continue to elevate boxing, to put boxing in the spotlight, to reposition it if you like, is to consistently do good fights. Consistently do good fights. And that's what we have been doing at Showtime Boxing for the last couple of years. No other network has done the quality of fights that Showtime has been doing. No other network is as committed to the sport as Showtime has been. Uh, putting a fight card on basic cable doesn't reposition the sport. Uh, putting on great fights positions the sport. The best fighting the best, as Richard said. That's what Showtime is doing. That's what Mikey Garcia has been doing. Now think about this. He had a layoff of over two years. He came back and in 18 months, four fights, two title fights, two different weight classes, going for a world title in the fourth weight class, something that only Pacquiao and Marquez have done before. Um, that is some really good company. That's what great fighters do. Historically, what separates legendary fighters from very good fighters is the ones who challenge themselves, who travel across weight classes to challenge themselves up and down. And that's what Mikey is doing. But of course, there are two sides to this story. Those of you who've been paying attention have seen Sergey Lipinitz making a lot of noise on Showtime undercards lately. Um, he has risen very quickly. If you look at his record, you would say 13-0 fighting Mikey Garcia. Uh, that sounds crazy, um, but it's not. If you look at Lipinitz's record and the kind of competition he's faced, his last seven opponents have a combined record of 163 and 15. That's not something you usually see on a fighter with 13 fights. You don't see a fighter at 13 and 0 who's regularly sparring with Terence Crawford and Ricky Burns and Ray Beltran. But that's what you see Sergey Lipinitz doing. You know, Sergey, of course, is a kickboxing champion. Um, is that going to help him in the fight against Mikey Garcia? And surprisingly, maybe a little bit. He is a combat veteran. Whatever happens in the ring, he's seen it before. And it will be an exciting night, I guarantee that. Richard.